Hi everybody, Dawn here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting. Today we're doing a DIY project. We are going to do a small polymer clay version of this, the wreath from A Nightmare Before Christmas. I always want to say A Nightmare on Elm Street, but that's not what we're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a base and I have a little two ounce block of um, just green polymer clay. And for this, you can really use any extra you have laying around, so any color, um, because it's all gonna be covered up anyway. I just want a base so I will have something to build on. And I got me a new little set of tools, and I'm gonna use this. Uh, it's not gonna be teeny tiny. Um, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be an ornament. It's gonna be big enough that I can hang it on a door or all the on the wall or something, but definitely not my outside door. And I'm just, right now, I'm just kind of uh, warming it up so it'll soften some. And then I'm going to form it into a, like a snake, roll it out into a snake, and then make my, my base for it. So that's what I'm working on right now. And polymer clay, I love it, but it does take a little bit of elbow grease to work with. So I have it pretty soft now and it's gonna be hard to roll this out because I have to hold this crappy tripod up too so this would be a good time to have a cameraman so right now I'm just kind of getting this rolled out okay so I've rolled it out to about the length I want it to be and I rolled over it with this very lightly to give it a flat surface um, because I think it's just gonna it's just my preference you can do it however you want um, and now I'm going to form my oval I got this is an idea of the shape I want I want kind of an oval Let's see he's shaped like an oval and then I'm going to attach two more pieces of green to the ends here for the little arm looking things now I'm out of green uh, for the base because I need a lot of green for the leaves, so I'm going to use some yellow. And it's okay because you're not going to see it. This is going to be for the little arms that extend outward right here. So, um, and I do have to make sure I keep a little yellow for the eyes. I'm just opening it up. And you know what? Instead of using that, I'll go ahead and use a different color since I, I know I need that yellow. So I'll just use, looks like I have a lot of purple, so we'll use some purple. And this won't be as much because this is just going to be a very small section of the wreath. So I took about one ounce and I'm going to cut it in half and get these rolled out. Again, I gotta play with them a little while because they're really kind of tough. I gotta play with them a little while to soften them up. Okay, so I rolled one piece out and rolled it out into the little army piece. Not army like the army, army like it's kind of like an arm. Um, so, kind of like that, what you see there. And um, now I'm just gonna do one for the other side and work on getting that kind of pushed into there. Okay. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't show you me rolling that out. I'm having a really hard time with my tripod, but so I rolled it out like a snake and then I rolled it up to match the size as much as possible. And um, then I flattened it out so that it'll be flat on my parchment paper that I already have on my baking sheet because once it's all done, it's gonna be hard to transfer over. So I'm just gonna already have it ready to go in the oven. So um, I need to roll out some more green so we can cut out the leaves and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So for the leaf shape, I'm doing it a little different than the one on here. So this is more like a, like a um, ivy leaf shape. We're not gonna do that because it's just, did that burn out now? Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to cut out just a simple leaf shape for these. And then just 
to apply it and poke it into there and then I'm going to go all the way around it and fill it in with as many leaves as I can. I changed it to a red one because I needed more green clay. Mm -hmm. so. This is covered, so now I'm going to make the eyes with some yellow. And I got to make them the right size. So that looks about right. Okay. Now we got to do the teeth and the buttons, and that'll be next. Now I'm making the fangs. And then I just stick them to the underside here and push them in so they won't come off. We're going to make the top row and the bottom row. Okay. All right, now I'm doing the little buttons. And I'm just taking my scalpel and putting in the four buttonholes. And I'm just going to make a couple more. There's not a whole lot on it, so I just need to do a couple. And then my next step will be the pupils and the skull for down here. Okay, okay so I'm making the bow and the reason I'm not making a cloth bow is because I just want to put the whole thing in the oven and be done with it and you can't really put a real bow in the oven so I'm put, getting ready to make my stripes for the this okay I just want to put the pupils on him and then it's going in the oven So he's baked now and he's all done. So I just made the stripes out of really skinny bits of black clay. I just um, rolled it out really thin and was really careful to lay it out. And then I did the skull with some white. I don't think I got footage of that, but um, it was real simple. Um, if y'all request me to do so, I'll make a video of me just creating the bow and the skull but it is really super simple and the teeth as well was really simple but um if people like this I might put I, I might make a few more and put them up for sale in my Etsy shop or just if people ask me for them but like the back of this one is just that background because but that doesn't matter. That's just the base. But there it is. You could always put something on here to hang it up. Um, glue something to the back. But I just made mine just uh, not without a... I, I didn't put a hangy thing on it. But I can always add one if I decide to do so. But it's all... This is all polymer way. Um, if you want something lightweight, you could definitely do one with felt or even paper. But um, there's my guy. So thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Um,